Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. Now keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you, okay? So let's just see what comes up. Well, there we go. We got one older man. So there's something to do with an older man here. That's a pile. We do not want a pile. Let's get one more. Dealings with an older man. Now, it doesn't have to be a partner, okay? This, this could be a father. It could be a work colleague. Something to do with an older man. It's going to be prominent this week. Ooh. You will be attending a get-together soon. It does have to do with this older man. So you're going to be attending a get-together soon. Well, this card wants to fall off. I just had to take it because it falls off. So I don't know, I don't know who uh, this is for. But this is infatuation and obsession. So we do have somebody here that is infatuated. Oh, I just looked at the next card. I feel like there's somebody that is spying. They're watching. They're maybe they're obsessed with you. I don't know. There could be, and it doesn't have to be the older man. It could be. There's somebody here that is doing something behind the scenes. It's very sneaky, and it does have to do with infatuation and obsession. So somebody could be you. Could be because this could. These readings can always go vice versa. Um, there's somebody that is watching, okay, there is somebody that is watching and behind the scenes, okay, they're investigating or they're looking for you or something like that. What do we have for Capricorn? Hiding behind the screen. Somebody is hiding behind the screen, not showing themselves as of yet. Mm. We have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, doesn't have to be, but there's God here, there's a higher power involved. Uh, you need to have faith and trust that everything happens for a reason. The Hierophant is a card of, uh, it's like a divine connection. It's also a card of your gut, your intuition, um, divinely guided. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is divinely guided and they need to believe, they need to have faith that they are protected. There is some, because there's a higher power involved that is protecting somebody, that is guiding somebody. There, is, there Somebody could be receiving some advice from a, a mentor, okay? They may be receiving some sort of advice. Um, there is somebody here that is extremely spiritual, that has a direct connection to God, okay? Could be you. There's a higher power involved. It does have to do with this older man, so I'm not sure what is going on. You know, a hero font can be weddings, funerals, graduations. So I don't know if this, because I just put it right next to the, you will be attending a get together soon. So I'm not sure what is going on here, but there's a higher power that is uh, doing something. Oh, Four of Pentacles just fell out. We're going to do past, present, and future again. Okay, so Four of Pentacles. Maybe what you don't see. This is, you know, the Four of Pentacles about obsession. You may have somebody here that is obsessed. They're obsessed with money or they're obsessed with, uh, well, that's money. It is money. But we may have somebody here that is also obsessed with something else. They're obsessed with holding. This is an obsession. It's interesting. I'm going to put this back in the deck and we're going to keep going. We have definitely have somebody here that is obsessed. It may not be money. It could be holding on to something that makes them feel secure. Somebody may be holding on to something just for the money, right? Resisting change with the Four of Pentacles. What do we have for Capricorn, past, present, and future? Three of Wands reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. 
Page of Cups, Five of Wands, Moon Reversed, Judgment, Upright. Put my phone over there. King of Swords, Tower, and Three of Pentacles in their future. Now, what about the person that you're dealing with? Let's talk about them for just a second. Or the person, maybe it's this older man. Let's talk about somebody that is in your energy. All right? Ten of Cups. High Priestess. Nine of Cups reversed. And Two of Cups reversed. What you don't see coming is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is, is time out, healing, healing. You're going to be need, needing to take a time out, maybe take a, take a break. I feel like you are going to need to take a break. You need, may need to take a break and go within to reflect on something. Healing is going to be needed. Time out. I mean, that's time out. What you don't see coming is a time out. You're probably going to need a time out. In the past, I feel like there's been some sort of indecisiveness. Somebody has been um, maybe abusing their power or something like that with the Six of Pentacles reversed. That's a, that's a, the Six of Pentacles reversed is strings attached. It's strings attached to charity. It's not getting what you deserve or somebody hasn't been giving. They haven't been giving. They've been not interested, focusing on the past, not focusing on the future, not giving, not, not giving in the past, not giving. Page of Cups is, is, we may have somebody here that is immature, you know, I'm just being honest. Page of Cups is, is somebody that is young, it's a, like a young soul or somebody that is young at heart or somebody that doesn't have a lot of life experience. Um, not giving, un, unprepared, right, with the Three of Wands reversed. This is like disappointing. It's very disappointing. I feel like we have somebody here that is not getting the support. They, they're, not, they're not receiving what they thought they were going to receive. They're not re getting the love maybe. They're, it's not coming. It's not, it hasn't happened. You know? Something is not well received. You may be receiving some, or you, maybe you received uh, some information and you, it's hard to accept. In the past, it really focusing on the past, really, really focus. Somebody here has been really focusing on the past, but now in the now position with the five of wands, the moon reverse and the judgment. Now the moon reverse is a reality check and the truth is an epiphany. It's like seeing the truth coming out of shadow, coming out of the darkness. Somebody has been in some sort of darkness. They've been struggling. You know, this is like the tug of war. They've been struggling. And I feel like you're probably going to be dealing with some tension. Because the five of wands is tension. Right now you may be struggling with releasing or accepting something. You're going to need to accept something. Because something is going to be revealed that has been below the surface. It's like there's no future here. There's no future. There's no future. Maybe you've been flirting with somebody in the past or you were giving your heart away to somebody in the past that where, you know, there's no future there. There's no future. There's no reciprocation. You know, somebody, I feel like that's what this is. I do believe that somebody is going to receive some emotional news if they haven't received it already. You know, the Six of Pentacles reverse is not receiving what you thought you were going to get, you know. And I think that's what's happened in the past. Maybe you've lost money or you've lost a job or you've, you know, uh, been so focused on something that it has caused some sort of emotional disappointment. You know, you, you need to... Uh, Stop giving your energy to somebody that isn't reciprocating with you, that isn't giving you. There's a one-sidedness here. Anyhow, I think that right now you're probably going through some sort of spiritual awakening, or somebody is. 
I mean, the judgment is a wake up call and the moon is a reality check. It's a release. The, the, we have a release of fear. There's, somebody has been uh, going back and forth with uh, some sort of change. Fives are about change. They've been struggling, struggling to um, come out of a dark place. Truths being revealed like right away, very, very, very soon. You're going to be seeing something very, very clearly. This is totally coming out of the darkness. A judgment is going to be made as well. You may maybe be making a judgment or somebody else's. In the future, we have the King of Swords, the Tower, and the Three of Pentacles. The King of Swords is a definite decision. Somebody is making a decision that is going to absolutely surprise you. It's going to shock you. You know, and this could be a father figure. It doesn't have to be, but this is somebody that is, uh, they have to. It's like, I have to, I have to, I have to. There's, there's no security here. We have an explosion of some sort. A major disruption could be even an internal disruption that forces a change that's in the future this is a very so a decision is making being made this is a, this is a difficult decision but it's being based on the facts it's being based on the truth there's some sort of insecurity here we have somebody here that is in a situation that it can't be held up anymore that it can't be it's it's so it's a it's they're in a bad place. It's not stable. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's it's been it's been able to be held up for and this far, but it can't can't be held up anymore. It's it's uh, something is about to crash. It's about to crash. It's about to crumble really, really, really fast. creating a new masterpiece so you, we have somebody here that is about to do something drastic i feel like it's drastic it's about creating a new life creating a new masterpiece creating a new story right so i don't know what is going on with you but we have somebody here that is making an informed decision to break down a false sense of security they're breaking down. This is a breakdown of some sort. It's like breaking it all down. It's a, this is like can't withhold, can't stand up. You know, this this can't last. It's it's not stable. It's not secure. Um, going to be working with somebody else, collaborating with somebody else. There's going to be a major disruption in somebody's foundation, whether it's their body or their house or their or their work or something like that. I mean, the tower is a uh, it's a breakdown. It is a major breakdown. Somebody is breaking down. They've made a decision that they don't they can't pretend. It's like I can't pretend. I can't I can't even hold up anymore. I can't I can't hold up. This can't be held up. You know, it's like it, it can't. Now the tower is a necessary evil, right? There could even be an accident with the tower. It is a major life change. Just everything changes. That that tower in the future is a major disruption to a foundation. Somebody is going to receive, you know, some information or some news or a shock. Okay, this is a complete shock. It could be challenging information. The King of Swords delivers challenging information. And the tower is shedding light. So there is definitely some light that is going to be shed. Somebody has been unaware. They have been unaware. They've been in some sort of... Maybe it's fantasy because the moon is reversed, but this is a reality check. It's coming out of illusion. Somebody's about to definitely get a reality check.
whoever you're dealing with is is two of cups reverse nine of cups reverse high priestess ten of cups maybe choosing to be alone maybe going on a new spiritual journey the two of cups is like a in reverse is a breakup or a separation you know this is like an unhappy couple there's no unity there's there's no unity I wish I never would have got involved in this the nine of cups reverse this is a nightmare and the moon can represent a nightmare as well the moon reverse so I feel like this is like a nightmare and I hate to say that So in the Nine of Cups reverse, I wish I never would have got in this partnership, but this partnership woke you up, you know, it made you more spiritual. We definitely have a, uh, it's like a spiritual ascension here. Somebody is ascending through this loss and it is definitely a loss with the Six of Pentacles reversed. We have somebody here that is very greedy, that uh, isn't giving. They may, sp they, it's interesting. They may speak words of love, but their actions don't match up. Actions speak louder than words. It's interesting because I did a live yesterday and I thought about it afterwards about what lies below the surface. And that's what the moon is about. Well, and I was thinking about it all morning and here I am doing your reading about what the words, you know, what lies beneath the words, what lies L-I-E-S, okay, beneath the words, what lies beneath the words, because somebody had made a, a comment and they skirted around it with their words, it's about reading between the lines, okay, so you may have to read between the lines, read between the words, okay, so... I feel like that's part of this because I've been thinking, I knew that you guys were next and I've been thinking about it all morning. So there's something that is, and I do feel like there's some words that are being said that you have to look deeper and the moon is definitely about looking deeper. Look deeper at the words and you will see the truth. And I feel like somebody is playing you. The Five of Wands is playing. Somebody is playing you. Look deeper. Look deeper. Look deeper. Look look beneath the surface. Look beneath the surface. And you will see some truth. There is somebody that is saying something to you. And it appears that it's all love. It appears that. But what they say is, is skirting around the truth. It's skirting around the truth. Okay? They're trying to... Uh, pretend but there if you look deeper you will see what they're truly saying that is definitely a message for you absolutely anyway whoever you're dealing with um is happy Okay, are they going to choose to be happy? I mean, the Ten of Cups is, 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 and if you're in a coupled relationship and you're happy, then I don't know why you're watching this because you know that I don't focus on finances. Okay, the Ten of Cups, whoever you're dealing with, it's High Priestess is very intuitive, very uh, single, chooses to be single, chooses to focus on their spirituality. Whoever you're dealing with is uh, definitely spiritual. I mean, extremely spiritual. And is pretty happy with who they are. Maybe not looking for a real partnership right now. I mean, the High Priestess with the Two of Cups reversed. You know, they don't really want a partnership. We may have somebody here that's just choosing. You know, the High Priestess is very self-sufficient. And focuses on their spirituality, focuses on their gifts, focuses on their own inner happiness, takes a time out to, to reflect on themselves. So I don't know if that is who you're dealing with, but I feel like uh, this person may not see you as wish fulfillment. And, you know, I'm just being honest with you. I mean, the High Priestess next to the Nine of Cups reverse and the Two of Cups reverse, maybe they see you as not being compatible. There's somebody that you are questioning that is in your circle that uh, may be separating from you because I'm not I'm sure I'm not sure if there's a fight or an argument that I mean, there definitely could be that causes a separation. You know this person is very awoke. 
They're very, very, very awoke. And you may be very awoke as well. I mean, you know, and that could be, you know, there could be some differences. I do feel like there is some differences here. So anyway, I feel like this week you're going to be, by the end of the week, you're going to be communicating and collaborating with somebody. This may be somebody that uh, you don't expect because of that tower. Somebody's also going to be getting a rude awakening. So I don't know who that is. If it's you or somebody, I feel like it is you. <laughs> You know, I'm Capricorn Moon, so I mean, I, I have to be honest, and the King of Swords is about honesty, okay? It's about being authentic. So I do, I do feel like you're going to be receiving some challenging information that you don't expect. There's going to be a conversation that shocks you, that surprises you. Whatever this conversation has to do with, it's going to wake you up in some way and the conversation is the words the word the, what lies beneath the words okay this is the main message you're going to receive so, a message and you're going to need to dig deep and discern the words okay that's the main message for this week you could be dealing with the libra gemini aquarius you have taurus you have scorpio you have pisces your Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You, yeah, that's what I see so far. You also have somebody that may be making a sudden departure. This person may have suddenly left your life. Suddenly, you didn't expect it. You could be in your emotions, and that's another whole story, because this person left and you didn't expect it. That's what happened in the past. And the Three of Wands reversed is stuck in the past. It's holding on to the past. Some of you may, may have something from the past coming back. You know, there's something from the past that is coming around uh, communicating with you and you have to discern the situation. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, this person may try to communicate with you, say say little words of love, but their actions don't match up to their words. So I do feel like you need to. You're gonna need to take a time out. That's what you don't see coming. Is take a time out to reflect on what you've heard. You're definitely gonna be receiving some information that makes you need to take a time out. Whoever you're dealing with may have gone through a spiritual awakening and they've separated. You know, they've separated, they've woke, they've woken up. You know, they've, somebody that you're dealing with is highly, highly spiritual. And they're wishing and they're hoping, you know, that they, or maybe they're hoping for a reconciliation. Now the Four of Swords is reversed. It's a dead end. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got somebody here that is looking for something secure. They're looking for something to hold on to. You need to know your value. You need to remember your value. Hold on to your value. Do not... Let your loneliness cause you to partner up with somebody that has made you feel empty and lost inside. This person has separated from you at one time. You need to hold on to your value. You need to, you need to work on yourself. You need to, you need to, you need to work on yourself. It's better to be alone than be in a relationship with somebody that you are not compatible with just because you're lonely.
you're going to be receiving an offer from somebody this person um, is feeling alone they're feeling alone but I don't think they can bring you happiness I don't think this person can bring you happiness you're gonna have to make a decision and it's you are definitely you're gonna you're gonna have to make a big 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 decision do you want to get yourself into a third party situation because that could certainly happen somebody is also coming back around that uh, has wasted a lot of time they wasted time they didn't give you they didn't give you the attention they didn't give you what you deserve they may be expressing feelings that's what I see they may have let you go you know because they didn't want to lose whatever it was that they were holding on to reality check is coming here comes the truth the release of fear forgiveness somebody may be asking you for forgiveness they were struggling they were struggling with fear there could be a reconciliation here that's up to you the choice is always yours we have something here that could lead to marriage if that's what you're looking for we definitely have a commitment card and a marriage card here you will be attending a get together soon could also be a funeral if you do when you attend this get together you may come together with somebody that you know rejected you there's been a rejection there's this you know there could be a coming together with somebody that rejected you and you need to discern the situation get prepared for a shock though okay get prepared this is shocking news it is shocking news it really is I mean I can't make that up you may be working together with siblings as well be, I don't know where that came from you may be working together with your siblings in the near future if you have siblings or with three people you know it's you and two other people to rebuild something you, you may be rebuilding something with two other people oh, wonderful this ace of wands really wants to come up I didn't want to say it for some reason this is the ace of wands is a fresh start starting from scratch starting over sudden desire a new a, a new beginning just go for it this is action somebody's about to take action they're about to uh, do something spontaneous now I got the star card on the bottom which leads to wish fulfillment this is hope this is unexpected help arriving as well so for some of you there, there's something definitely unexpected that is coming this is probably what you asked for it's like a wish is being granted that's what that is I mean the star card is a wish fulfillment it is a wish that is being granted right new start we definitely have a new beginning here exciting it's very this is an exciting new beginning that you probably do not expect somebody somebody wants you to give them a chance it's up to you it's up to you maybe this person separated they separated from the partner that they were not compatible with they wish they never would have got involved with that partner and they want you to give them a chance That's what I think this is. Good luck. 